25th anniversary of City Hall for the City of Champions. This place has been transformed into three scenes on three floors. Down in the basement, we have Hollywood. The middle floor is Winter Wonderland, and the top floor is Masquerade. It's phenomenal. It's to celebrate the City of Champions. Moses Rodriguez, the 49th mayor of the city, had an idea for a wonderful event, and we're gonna take a look around and show you the sights and sounds. I'm here with Mayor Moses Rodriguez here at the 125th Gala of City Hall. Moses, uh, this was your idea to have this wonderful party. Why? Well, Mark, you know how um, how I am sometimes. You know, we got a, nothing wrong with having a little party, and sometimes we're looking for a reason to have a party. And we found a perfect reason to have a party in this building, which is uh, we found out that this building is turning 125 this year in December, actually. So we felt that it would be that it would be nice to uh, to throw in a party and invite the community to come in and, and, and see the beautiful the beautiful building that we that we own. I mean, this is uh, something that's owned by the taxpayers in this community, and we wanted to showcase that. You know, I've traveled throughout Massachusetts to a bunch of towns, cities. I have not seen a building as beautiful as this or as historical as this one is. So I wanted to showcase that and I wanted to uh, to basically open it up for the community so that the community can come and enjoy what we have here. Now, we have the privilege of having you as the 49th mayor of the city of Brockton and also being going back to the city council uh, soon. Um, is it a privilege and an honor to serve the residents of Brockton? Listen, I wouldn't want to be anyplace else. I, I tell people that it's probably one of the more difficult jobs I've had in my lifetime, but uh, at the same time, what an honor. You know, what an honor to come in. Uh, I mean, I use the analogy of, uh, of when you go to the beach and the water is cold and you usually kind of dip your toe in the water to see how it is before you jump in. Well, in my case, it's like somebody picked me up and threw me in the water. Uh, because it, with the passing of Mayor Carpenter, I didn't have that period of time of, of uh, uh, a period of uh, where you can actually kind of atone before you go in or, or, or basically become a little, it, it, I didn't have an introduction. It would show up here on Monday, run the place, you know, so. It's like the uh, polar plunge in, uh, in, on January 1st in South Boston. It was. But you know what? You had the experience. You worked for Mayor Harrington and did a lot, and you served this community. So I think all Brocktonians owe you a debt of gratitude for what you've done. Well, I am glad, uh, you know, perhaps I was the one that actually took the, took the helm of the city to move it forward. And I think we've done a decent job in terms of moving what was already in the burners forward. We've started some new programs. There's a few more things that you'll hear before the end of the year of what we have done to accomplish uh, in city government that will save the taxpayers a bundle of money. So I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping that uh, uh, the wife just showed up. Yeah, well, I just want to commend your wife, Maria, for doing such a beautiful job with the committee. And just this place looks beautiful, Maria. Well, thank you, it's my pleasure. And I would do it in a heartbeat. And the place is beautiful. And I hope everybody enjoyed themselves tonight, because I am. We'll start to have fun, and no more interviews for a little while. Enjoy. Thank you very much, and again, thank you for coming down. Enjoy your day. John Marion, does this harken us back to the days of the red, white, and black ball? What do you think? Mark, you know that those were some awesome parties. This place was decked out like a mansion in Newport. But I'll tell you, coming in here, I feel the same way. They did a beautiful job on this 125th anniversary. The building looks superb. Can't say enough about the mayor and his initiative to do this birthday party. And uh, well, the place is full. You tell me, how is it? I think it's great, and uh, we finally can say with confidence, downtown's coming back, right? Between Mayor Carpenter, who we miss dearly, Mayor Rodriguez and incoming Mayor Sullivan. Downtown's happening, right? I think we got a lot of momentum, and I got I got to say thank you to Cable because you know you've been covering the parade, and the parade has been going on for thirty some odd years, and we always talk about what's coming in downtown, but now we can talk about what's here and what's coming. A lot of stuff going on. Enjoy your night. Good to you see too. You too. Okay. 
this time of year gets very busy, but it's a great event to honor the city and the 125th anniversary of City Hall. And, and uh, this is a great event with a great turnout from Brockton. Now, you served in the chamber right across the hall as a city councilor as one of your offices. Um, it, you're here all the time, so it's not like it's a homecoming. What's so special about the city of Brockton and all the people? Well, the, the bottom line, you mentioned it, the people is what makes Brockton the city of champions. We're obviously known for our sports history with Rocky Marciano and Marvin Hagler and all the football teams in the past and so forth. But the people who work day in and day out in the community in the city of Brockton and the unsung heroes that don't always get the recognition. I mean, we also have a great band with Vinnie McCreener and the, and the music to Bob and Brockton is second to none. They win awards all over the place, but it's the people who work and go to work every day and uh, provide for their family and raise their family in the city of Brockton. That's what makes us the city of champions. And this is a beautiful historic building. So it's great we're honoring this building for the 125th anniversary tonight. I'm here with Gene Bradley, Duran and Court, City Councilor at Large. Gene, you having a good time tonight at the party? Man, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm living the dream, obviously. You know, it's, it's an amazing environment. Everybody's happy. So I like seeing this at City Hall. You know, this is something new. Yeah, it is. It's, it's glamorous. <laughs> the, the, you know, the place is all decked out, yes. different lights and yes. everything like yes. that, yes. different yes. theme for every floor. Yeah. So, um, did you enjoy your tenure here on yeah, the city council, being yeah. a councilor at large? And, uh, you know, uh, what's anything next? Well, I mean, let's face it, uh, you know, I'm still serving the people until, yeah. you know, the last hour or the last minute. Yeah. So we'll see what happens next. But, you know, it has been an honor, to be honest with you, to serve the people of Brockton. And, and I, I think that, you know, my service uh, will never end, I can tell you that. So we don't know what's going to happen next, but we'll see. So we're not going anywhere. We're going to stay here. But... We hope everybody the best, especially those of you who believe in me, and I believe in you as well. So I may not be there as an elected official, but you will see me again. One of my good friends always said there's other ways to serve, and that's yes. that what you did that before yeah. you were ever a councillor or a yeah. library trustee. <laughs> so That uh, was my number one. Though. Absolutely. I can tell you that. We had a great time. Yeah. So um, Merry Christmas, Happy yeah. New Year, yes. and uh, we'll be seeing more. You tell us first. Same to you, Mr. Chairman. Keep it okay. up, right? Thank you. Here we are at City Hall 125th Gala. Marlene, you having a good time? Oh, I'm having a fantastic time. I like it. The place is stunning. Isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful here. I'm having a lot of fun. I've never been to a party at City Hall before, so it's nice. Oh, really? So not for the red, white, and black back no. in the day? No, so, I'm too young for that. You are too young for that. So hopefully we'll make this a regular occurrence. What do you think? That will be great. I think it's, it's a reminder of the people's house and it can come and celebrate in the people's house. I think we should do that very often. It's a very special occasion at the 125th um, anniversary of City Hall, so I think it's appropriate to have a little celebration here for its birthday. I don't know if I'd be coming to a party every year at City Hall, well, but I would. But it's kind of hard in a sense. Maybe every two years. Every, okay. Whatever. Maybe we'll go one in the 150th house side. Yes, yeah, we're all still young, right? We're all still young. Okay, <laughs> enjoy the rest of the night. I'm here with Larry Curtis, uh, you know, extraordinary Brocktonian. Larry. Only 20 years, Mark. Uh, okay. oh, I, um, yeah, I'm not a lifelong, you, but I'm 20 years. You've yes. contributed a lot to the city. Right. Uh, right. You have a fun tonight? Is it a this, event? This is a phenomenal event, you know, I mean, when you look around here, you see the diversity that's happening throughout our city. You look up, you know, three floors, you know, levels here in City Hall. The history, you know, the, the everything is just phenomenally great here this evening, you know. Um, it's it's a little bit sad that uh, former Mayor Bill Carpenter is not here to enjoy this spectacular evening, but I think, you know, Mayor Rodriguez has done a tremendous job in the interim stages, and we want to wish Bob Sullivan the best of uh, luck going forward, because we know that there's going to be a lot of difficult trying times for our city, but uh, he's been our elected mayor, and uh, we will rally around him and the city council that is now in place, and we're going to do what is the best thing for the city of Brockton going forward. I'm here with Paul Engel, the director of the Brockton Public Library. Paul. We, there's a history room over at the Brockton Public Library. We can find out more about this, right? That's absolutely true. It's an entire room full of Brockton history and regional history, too. So, are you having a good time here at the 125th? Having a great time. Enjoying the food, enjoying the drink, enjoying the people. Absolutely. That's what it is all about. Yes, it is. 
Thanks. Enjoy. Have a good All time. All right, Mark. Merry Christmas. Happy Merry holidays. Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you. We are the ladies of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, the Psi Iota Omega Chapter, and we're out here to celebrate City Hall's 125th anniversary. And we are blessed to be a part of history as we have been servicing this community now for 11 years. Jerry Cassidy State Representative here in Brockton. Uh, we're here at the 125th uh, anniversary of uh, Brockton City Hall. It's a uh, beautiful building, and uh, Bob's, Bob Martin is uh, doing a little tour of City Hall. And uh, this is a, a wonderful building. Uh, years ago, I worked with Tom Kennedy, who was on the City Council years ago. And he told me, which Bob verified, that they wanted to tear this building down for a space building, which uh, which did not happen uh, years ago, because this is just a phenomenal building, and it's going to be a great night of uh, uh, dancing and celebration of this uh, beautiful uh, building that uh, is, uh, is is Brockton. I'm here with Mayor-elect Robert Sullivan, City Council President. Bob, what do you think of this party today? Mark, this is fantastic. I mean, the turnout, you know, the excitement, everyone is festive, everyone is dressed to the nines. This is a special night in the city of Rockland, absolutely. This is a historic building, a, a beautiful historic building. Um, you're about to take the reins very, very soon. Um, any plans for City Hall in, in the future? There's all sorts of anniversaries coming up in the city. Yeah, it's, well, first of all, it's the 125th anniversary of this building, uh, and it's a gym. Um, you know, I've, I've had the fortunate um, uh, privilege to drive around the Commonwealth of Massachusetts to go to town halls and city, city halls throughout the state. This is the best, in my humble opinion. I mean, it's got artwork, it's got architecture, it's aesthetically beautiful. So we need to maximize this. We need to invite more people here. This is the people's home. Um, but tonight's just a wonderful night to celebrate and, uh, and have fun. Are you excited uh, on your upcoming, uh, in incoming being the mayor? Yeah, I mean, January 6th is the inaugural day. Uh, that's when I uh, will, will take the, uh, the oath. And I'm just excited. I'm excited, I'm jazzed up. Um, we're gonna hit the ground running, as they say. I'm going to surround ourselves with skilled people. And ultimately, my campaign message was simple. Brockton is about all of us working together as a team, a collective effort, unified. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be the, uh, the mayor of all the people of Brockton. That's what we need to do to be successful. Absolutely. Thank well, you. I wish you nothing but the best. You're looking sharp tonight, my friend. You're looking good. So are you. Thank you. Good Thank to you. see you. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy holidays.